Hi all, this video presentation is about phenotypic screening for salinity stress in rice. Generally, there are four phenotyping methods, namely field level screening, pot culture screening, hydroponics, and roll towel. But for my study, I have used a different method other than the ones which I have mentioned earlier. That is screening by using petri plates. I would like to sow the seeds in a petri plate with a uh, appropriate amount of uh, water and NaCl solution and screen various genotypes. The reason for me selecting this type is because of its ease of use and its cost effective. So this is one of the plates which contains around uh, 8 to 10 seeds which grows only uh, with the nutrient reserve in the seeds and with the water for support for the germination. By this method I would like to measure the shoot length and the root length after a week's time. So this is uh, very helpful to screen the salinity tolerance in seedling level stage in rice. This method is appropriate for rice because rice is an anaerobic crop where it can uh, grow in a flooded condition. So the, I can just fill the petri plates with water without any moist paper or any uh, wicking fabric. But a peculiar method for rice when compared to wheat or maize which requires uh, aerations regularly. The petri plate method will be an easiest method to germinate seedlings and it can grow up to a week or 10 days without any nutrient reserve. It can use the uh, uh, nutrient reserve in its seeds for uh, its emergence. The whole experiment consists of three major steps where the first step is the sowing, the second one is the measurement and the third one is the harvest. Here I am going to talk of the sowing where the petrifers are initially taken and labeled with appropriate genotype or line numbers and then measured quantity of water or NaCl solution is filled. For my experiment, I have used 15 ml of water and the same as for the NaCl because the concentration of NaCl should be constant for all the genotypes. Variable volumes will result in variable quantities of sodium chloride concentration. After filling the petri plates with water, I place the seeds one by one onto the petri plates. It is better to take seeds without any fungal or bacterial infection over them in order to prevent the contamination in a week or so. Later, I close the lid of the petri plate to avoid the evaporative loss of water and to maintain a constant volume. And then these plates are placed in a room where there is constant temperature. One of my objectives in this uh, project is to measure the shoot elongation rate where I should take a series of measurement every day for a week's time where I can monitor or uh, analyze the growth pattern of the tolerant and susceptible genotypes in rice. So how do I measure these uh, seedlings every day? The way w by which I measure the seedlings is to just open the lid and then take each seedlings carefully using a uh, sterile forceps and then place it on the graph sheet and measure the length of the shoot and record it in the data sheet and then place it back and allow them to grow. Having talked about the methodology so far, now let us see the results of the experiment. There was a clear difference between the susceptible and the tolerant genotypes where, where the susceptible genotype, the control plants grew up to 4.1 centimeters whereas the uh, plants in the NaCl solution were just 1.68 cm. In case of tolerant genotype, the control plants were growing up to a length of 4.43 cm and the NaCl plants was growing up to a length of 4.1 cm. So this is a significant difference in the growth of the shoot length. Thank you.